Hello everyone! Hello my dear BS and English students! Today, we will have the continuation of our discussion on how to do character analysis. Diba? Last week, nag-discuss ako tungkol sa characterization and how to identify the different types of characters. Ngayon naman, as part of our activity, I will be uh, discussing to you how to do character analysis. So, magpapakita ako sa inyo ng format, examples, and the basic parts of how uh, character analysis can be done. And to begin with, let me share my screen. Okay, so as part of our stylistics and discourse analysis midterms, you will be doing a performance test. So actually, I have here uh, two activities, uh, the written output and the performance test. For us to learn more about this, let's have first uh, this question, how to do character analysis. Let's recapitulate our discussion on character analysis or on characters. Characters in a story are all the people, animals, or things that take part in the action of the story. So, nag-discuss na po ako last time kung paano natin madidetermine ang katangian ng bawat character sa kwento. And we agree that stories cannot be as feasible or good enough without mentioning the characters. Tapos may dalawang uri tayo ng pag-describe ng characters. The first one is direct characterization and the other one is indirect characterization. And I also ask you to differentiate the two. And yes, direct characterization is... Uh, it comes right out and states what characters has... Uh, are they bossy, quiet, or polite? So, ibig sabihin, uh, yung narrator or yung author ng kwento ay sinasabi na kaagad yung description ng character. But, in indirect characteriz characterization, ay dito pa lang yung readers ang bahalang mag-analyze ano ba ang ugali or characteristics ng tauhan sa kwento. So, hindi siya directly stated from the text. When the author gives us insight on what the character is like based on what they say, do, wear, think, feel, own, or even through how others react to them. At para mas maging malinaw sa atin ang indirect characterization, here's the definition of characterization. Ito ay pagbabalik tanaw lamang dahil na-discuss na po natin ito last meeting. Characterization is the information the author gives a reader about the characters themselves. At napag-aralan din natin noon na ang author ay maaaring ipakilala ang mga tauhan sa kwento directly or indirectly sa pamamagitan ng mga sumusunod. The first one is the physical appearance of the character. The second is... Ano ba yung kanyang sinasabi, iniisip, nararamdaman, or yung kanilang mga pangarap sa buhay? The other one is, what the character does or does not do. Ano ba yung lagi niyang ginagawa at hindi niya ginagawa? It's another way on how you could uh, visualize. And then, what others say about him or her and how others react to him or her. So, reaction naman ng mga taong nakakakilala at nakakakita dun sa tauhan. So, class, tandaan niyo ito dahil magagamit natin ito later on how we will do the character analysis. Let's continue. Ano na nga ba ang character analysis? And in literature, a character analysis is when you assess a character to see what his or her role is in the bigger story. You take a deep look into their personality, traits, role in the story, and the conflicts they go through. So dito pa lang, as we put emphasis, personality ng tauhan, 
traits niya, ano ba yung kanyang ginaganapan sa kwento, at ano yung mga pagbabagong nangyari sa kanya at mga problema na kanyang pinagdadaanan. So, those are the things that you need to consider when you analyze the characters. First, atin muna um, isa-isahin ang mga paraan para tayo ay makapag-analyze ng character. Una na nga po dito ay ang character traits. Kapag nag-a-analyze tayo ng character, we should ask ourselves, how does this character behave? Paano ba siya kumilos? What is her personality type? Kung siya ay babae or kung lalaki ay his. What Are there motivations? Ano ba yung driving force nila to do something in the story? How do they relate to others in the story? Pa, paano sila makisalamuha? So that will fall under character traits. And most of the time, the author does not directly name these traits. Kaya po, na-mention po kanina, there would be instances na indirect yung characterization natin. But you can observe them, uh, them in the scenes that unfold. So magbibigay ako dito ng example, yung Gun with the Wind. Yung author sa kwentong ito or sa novel na ito, uh, si Margaret Mitchell, never calls Scarlet manipulative. But that's the word that comes to our mind as we read scene after scene of her scheming to get what she wants. So ano ba yung uh, ginagawa ng tauhan? Nagpapakita dun sa scene, Ano yung kanya mga sinasabi, yung mga actions niya para makuha yung gusto niya. Hindi sinabi ni Margaret Mitchell, no author sa novel na Gun with the Wind, na yung tauhan na si Scarlett ay manipulative. Pero, i-describe niya yung mga kilos at saka yung mga pananalita to tell na talagang manipulative si Scarlett. So, that is what we call as the character trait. So, first... Uh, when you watch a certain novel, uh, movie, lifted from a novel, or whatsoever, kasi sinabi ko naman po, it's not just limited to literature, di ba? I told you, um, yung ibang mga literary materials ay nai-immortalize when we make it into a movie or adaptation, or film adaptation, should I say. Kaya po, uh, magbibigay din ako ng mga tips paano natin maiipresent ang character traits. Ang una dito ay uh, pag sa alang-alang ng mga sumusunod, the areas that we need to look at when uh, we analyze character traits. First, the motivation. Let's ask the question, what drives them to do what they do? What is their greatest dream, their greatest fear? Next, the actions. How do they behave? How do they treat other people? Do they think through things carefully or do they jump in without a second thought? And then we have the words. How do they speak? Are their words cynical, sarcastic, or bitter? Or are they kind and tender? So you ask yourself, pag nakikita niyo yung uh, mga lines dun sa dialogue, or even how the dialogues are delivered. Do they use a lot of religious words or do they use slang? Para tayong nag-discourse uh, analysis na rin class na i-discuss pa rin natin sa finals. Tingnan ninyo sa way how the words are delivered. Others' impressions? How do the other characters see them? Dinescribe ba siya ng ibang tauhan sa kwento? Are they respected, feared, or despised? So you explain why. Then there would be instances, di ba, na pag-aralan natin sa figurative language na nagbibigay tayo ng karakteristik na related dun sa uh, katangian ng tao or nagbibigay tayo ng mga bansag or nickname para i-describe yung tauhan. Think about the difference between hearing someone called Grumpy Mo and Little Mo. What nicknames are attached to the character? What are they known by that name? So, yung binigay ko example before sa inyo when we discuss uh, figurative language, di ba? Um, I'd mention of Anne of Green Gables, the 
si Daddy Longlegs, di ba? So, siguro ano nga ba ang itsura ni Daddy Longlegs? Why he was called Daddy Longlegs? Matangkad ba si Daddy Longlegs? So, yun, yun yung mga hint na magsasabi din sa atin ano kaya ang uh, pagkatao nung character sa kwento. You can also look for the description or the epithet, the moniker, mga bansag na binibigay sa kanya ng mga tao doon sa kwento. And now, we're done with the character traits. Atin namang i-analyze ang character sa pamamagitan ng role na kanilang na-perform. So, ito yung number two, the character's role. Is the character the main, secondary, or minor player in the story? Di ba na-discuss ko na sa inyo yung uh, description ng major and supporting characters when I had uh, my lecture on characterization. So, paki-go back on that para magkaroon tayo ng additional insight. Obviously, main characters tend to be more complex and play a crucial role in the story. They might also undergo transformations throughout the story. Na-mention ko sa inyo yung dynamic characters. The ones who undergo uh, change from the beginning, siya pala ay galit sa mundo. But as he met other people, nagkakaroon siya ng appreciation, nakikilala niya yung sarili niya at ang mundo na hindi naman pala ganun kasama. So therefore, there is a character change or there's a character transformation. Naging dynamic na yung kanyang pagkatao. And on the other side naman, meron tayo mga tauhan na uh, hindi sila nagbabago. All throughout the character, sila ay supportive. At the end of the story, supportive pa rin or mabait pa rin o kung ano man yung katangian na meron sila. Or from the start, walang pakialam. Up to the end of the story, walang pakialam. Sila yung mga tinatawag natin na static characters or no change or transformation has been uh, observed. So, we're done with... The minor character, uh, the major character, rather. Ngayon naman, let's have the minor characters. So, might be not changed since they are not involved in many scenes. So, ito yung mga characters na uh, supporting lamang po, hindi siya, or hindi sila masyadong nakakapag-bring ng pagbabago sa flow ng kwento. So, they are just parts of the story to support the main character. For example, yung mga binigay ko sa inyo dati, uh, yung mga katulong sa kwento, yung mga kasambahay, uh, what else, yung mga kaibigan ng bida na mga passive lang, uh, hindi sila yung in the sense na mga sidekick kasi I had mentioned din before at i-discuss pa rin natin siya sa literary criticism next semester. Ano ba yung mga iba't ibang uri ng supporting characters? Ano-ano yung mga iba't ibang uri ng minor characters? Di ba? So, just watch out for those. So, main character kasi, or the major character, usually, sila yung mga protagonist or yung antagonist ng kwento. So, the protagonist refers to the main character undergoing the main conflict, which is usually caused by the antagonist, which could be a person or a non-human force. So, yung mga bida at kontrabida ng kwento. At na-discuss din natin last week na there would be instances na hindi naman laging yung protagonist ang pinakang bida sa kwento. There would be instances talaga na may mga anti antagonist or yung parang negative yung character pero sila yung um, center ng kwento. So may mga, nabanggit din ako ng mga examples dun sa kwento na uh, the character would sound like as an antagonist. Example natin si Maleficent, right? Best example. Um, hindi masyadong Maganda yung pagkaka-describe sa kanya. Uh, he is doing evil things. Even si Scrooge, ng, the Scrooge, uh, yung galit siya sa Pasko, may isa pa dyan. 
Si Ebenezer Scrooge na nga by Charles Dickens in the novel A Christmas Carol. Tapos yung isa ko pang nakwento sa inyo last meeting, uh, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. ba? Diba? May pagka-antagonist sila yung mga anti-hero, ang role, pero sila ang center ng kwento. So, yun. Uh, this is just to explain na hindi lahat ng antagonist ay antagonist talaga. There would be instances na even antagonist could be the center of the story. Let's have uh, additional examples of protagonists and antagonists. Little Red Riding Hood, kilala naman natin in our childhood days and even in your children and adolescent literature. The protagonist is the little girl and the antagonist is the wolf, specifically the big bad wolf. And also, in your children and adolescent literature, we have Harry Potter. The protagonist is Harry Potter and the antagonist is Lord Voldemort. We also have Robinson Crusoe. The protagonist is Robinson Crusoe and the antagonist is his environment in the deserted island. Uh, siguro, I would expound this type of conflicts pag na-discuss ko separately yung element of conflict yung man versus man, man versus himself, man versus society, man versus supernatural, man versus... Ano pa, society and others. So, meron pa tayo man versus beast. Napakarami. And we will have that on separate discussion. And usually, those versus would be the antagonist. Okay, now, let's have the character transformation. We're done with the character traits and then the roles performed by those characters. And the third one, the character's transformation, as well as the conflict. As part of your character analysis, take a look at the conflict of the story. What is the main conflict? How do they respond? Do they grow stronger, lose control, form new relationships, severe other relationships, or discover new things about themselves? May pagbabago ba na naganap dun sa tauhan ng kwento as he um victors or triumphs with uh the conflict in uh their lives so i-analyze niyo yun para makita natin yung kanilang uh transformation then see how the conflict and all the events in the plot affect your protagonist kasi yung conflict talaga ang magda-direct paano ba kikilos or magre-react yung protagonist dun sa kwento. Siya yung mismong nakakaranas ng uh, difficulties doon sa kwento. And yes, tingnan natin kung siya ay dynamic character, there would be uh, changes, or wala, di ba? Does it cause them to grow or to retreat in themselves? Sumuko ba sila sa bandang huli or nagpunyagi para magtagumpay? against all the uh, conflicts in their lives. And yes, there are ways to find uh, to find out how something affects your protagonist. Meron tayong mga verbal cues na tinatawag para makita natin sa binabasa natin or pinapanood natin. Tingnan niyo itong mga verbal cues. He suddenly realized or finally she knew that or it was the first time he ever. Yan yung mga example natin ng mga cues or palatandaan para makita na mayroon talagang change doon sa buhay ng tauhan. And now, ito na yung exciting part ng ating discussion. I will be showing you the format of character analysis. Katulad din siya ng mga essays and other written output. Character analysis often has an introduction, body, and conclusion. So, ano po ang gagawin nyo, class, sa introduction? You introduce the character you are writing about using a good hook to get your reader curious. So, kayo na ang gumawa ng mga catchphrases para uh, talagang 
makuha niyo yung attention ng inyong mga readers when you introduce the character. That is what we call as introduction. Siguro dito, best technique pa din na kayong mag uh, kuha or mag ng mga famous lines or other things na makakakuha sa attention ng inyong reader. Mag-mention kayo ng quotable quotes ng character. Magtanong kayo, what do you think would be uh, the outlook of the character or the personality? Di ba na-mention naman natin kanina on how you could get the personality? And sa body, dito naman tayo mag-expound. Use few paragraphs to describe the character traits, their role, and the transformation they undergo. Ito na nga po yung tatlo natin na paraan na ipinakita ko sa inyo. Character traits, roles, and transformation. Sa body nyo po siya, i-include. So, alam na nyo na rin kung anong ilalagay sa character traits na mention ko naman po and ano yung mga possible roles na meron sila and the transformation na kanilang pinagdaanan. And then, for the conclusion, summarize your essay in this section and highlight the most important traits you've found. Uh, parang you close or you end your analysis with uh, pansara na statements by summarizing uh, yung pinakang highlight dun sa tauhang yun, highlight ng kanilang uh, personality. Let's now have sample. Dito, ang ibibigay ko na sample ay si Margaret. Uh, hindi si Margaret po, actually, class. Ito ay si... Uh, ano ang pangalan ng Bida si Dan with the Wind? Si Scarlett O'Hara. Uh, movie ito, movie adaptation na actually ito, pero it's from the novel Gun with the Wind, written by Margaret Mitchell. So, bigyan natin siya ng introduction. Anyone who's met Scarlett O'Hara will look twice and be drawn to her charm. But for some reason, she doesn't live a happy domestic life. It is because of her attitude. Is it because of difficult circumstances that happen in her life? Is it because of the choices she made? In this essay, we will find out why. So dito class, uh, nahook na natin, nagkaroon tayo ng catchphrase dun sa mga readers para makilala si Scarlett O'Hara. Pwede nga po dito magtanong kayo or magbigay kayo ng famous quotation or line from the character that you uh, chose. And since the question is, uh, sino ba si Scarlett O'Hara? Tapos sinabi niya, in this essay, you will find out why. So, masasagot daw yung katanungan natin kapag binasa yung essay. Let's have the body. So, may kahabaan yung body. Kasi nga po, tatlo yung ating kailangang ma-mention. Ano yung una? Character traits. Character roles at saka yung transformation. Let me read. Scarlett O'Hara is the main character in the book Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. She is the daughter of a rich landowner during the years before the Civil War. In her youth, she is the belle of all the parties with the boys eating out of the palm of her hand. But when she's jilted by her longtime crush, Ashley, she connives to make him jealous by going with another boy whom she ends up marrying just before he leaves for the war. Next paragraph. When her husband dies, that impetuous decision leaves Scarlett a young widow with a baby boy, aging for her old life of parties and dances and pen. This causes all the neighbors to look at her with disdain. But she doesn't care. She wants to enjoy life. That's when she meets Rhett Butler, an enigmatic man who weaves in and out of her life. This shows us how selfish, selfish and manipulative she is. And as we read, we keep hoping that she will change. When the Civil War breaks out, Scarlet volunteers at the hospital to tend wounded soldiers all the while still pining for Ashley, who 
who is now married to a girl named Melanie. It appears that she doesn't really have her heart in the work and was only forced into it because everyone else expected her to volunteer. She and Melanie struggled through the effects of the war, coming back to her home only to find it in ruins. The experience causes her to swear never to be poor again, and she plots and finds a way to marry a rich man for his money. Once married, she goes into business despite her husband's disapproval and proves her wit and cunning for money-making, even at the expense of being hated by everyone. Again, we see her manipulative attitude and the way that she always gets what she wants, even it hurts others' people or other people. So in this uh, part test, uh, you can also mention is the character the main character in the story or just the supporting character and then you expound. Diba marami naman tayong mga example na pinakita kanina on how you could uh, tell the role of the character. And even dun sa character traits, pwede nyong i-mention yung Ano ba yung pananamit, pananalita, paano siya i-describe ng ibang tao, ano yung hindi niya ginagawa at yung laging ng ginagawa. So, you, you go back with the checklist I had given earlier. So, nandito na tayo sa last part ng body. Eventually, she marries Rhett Butler who discovers her continuing infatuation with Ashley but keeps on loving her. She keeps shunning him and longing for Ashley. After encountering a dying Melanie, she realizes that she doesn't really love Ashley and has been shortchanging Rhett, coming home to him, a changed woman, only to find that he has finally given up on her. So, parang search for uh, true love ito or search for the real meaning of love. Infatuated siya sa ibang lalaki. And through the conquest of trying to get that man, marami nang dumaan ng mga lalaki sa buhay niya, uh, come and go. And at the end, yung lalaki na katagal sa kanya na gustong gusto siya, at nung na-realize naman niya na gusto rin pala niya o mahal niya rin pala, at the end ay natauhan at Yun, the end of uh, the story. Nagising sa katotohanan yung lalaki na akala niya ay hindi niya gusto. Kasi she was too busy chasing other men all her life. Yun. So, it's also good that you look for the movie. Napakaluma na ng movie. It's a classic movie uh, lifted from the novel. Ano nga title? by Margaret Mitchell, Gun with the Wind. And why was it entitled Gun with the Wind? So, yun pa lang. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung nawala doon sa hangin. Diba? Uh, is it the feelings or is it the relationship? Tingnan nyo. And on the conclusion of uh, this, the character analysis, Scarlett O'Hara is a complex character. So, i-generalize nyo na po. whose manipulative schemes get her into trouble again and again. It's easy to sympathize with the troubles brought about by the civil war, but also just as easy to hate her for her selfish decisions. So parang dito, pwede na kayong maging uh, opinionated. Kasi character analysis naman siya. Pwede na kayong magsabi uh, ng sarili ninyong... conclusion or interpretation dun sa ta ta tauhan or sa ugali ng tauhan, siya ba ay galit-galit, siya ba ay kaawa-awa, siya ba ay uh, a strong, independent woman, so bahala na po kayo. In a generalization or conclusion, sabihin niyo na yung pinakang masasabi niyo dun sa tauhan. Madali daw mag-sympathize sa kanyang pinagdaanan. Pero if you would look on every aspect, masasabi nyo na siya ay 
selfish. So, ayan yung naging sample natin from uh, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. So, tandaan ninyo sa body doon ninyo, sasabihin yung tatlo-tatlo, the character traits, the roles, and the transformation. And nakita nyo naman sa transformation ni uh, Scarlett, may realization siya doon, pero huli na ang lahat. Natauhan na yung lalaki na nagmamahal sa kanya or tunay na nagmamahal sa kanya. And now, I know you have lots of things to look forward to sa ating character analysis. I will be giving you an activity. Um, ito po. Pupunta kayo sa link na ito in YouTube. Uh, ito yung pinakamadaling access kasi meron yata nito sa Netflix. But I do not know if you have uh, access sa Netflix. Uh, sa YouTube, ito ay for common uh, consumption. And it's a common domain. Ano bang tawag doon? Yung kahit sino pwedeng manood. So, ito yung YouTube link na kailangan natin puntahan. And you have to watch first the movie Lucy Shimmers and the Prince of Peace. 2020 pa lang siya. So, bago-bago pa. And it will uh, help you do the character analysis. So, may ipapa-analyze ako na tauhan sa kwento or mga tauhan sa kwento. And ia-apply ninyo yung mga diniscuss ko na parts. And why was it considered as one of the best films ever? Very inspirational nito and will change your outlook in life once you uh, have watched the movie. Sino kaya yung tinutukoy na Prince of Peace dito sa kwentong ito? So, kayo na ang bahalang dumiscover by going to this link. And yes, after the activity, you have to complete a written output. Right? A character analysis of the following. So, dalawang tauhan lang yung pinili ko kasi napakadaming tauhan. May mga supporting characters and so on and so forth. Pero dalawa lang yung kinuha ko para mag-focus kayo dun sa mga tauhan na banggit. Uh, yung tauhan na si Sally Shimmers. Ah, hindi Sally. Sorry. Lucy. Iba naman yung na-type ko. Baka may iniisip akong iba. Lucy Shimmers. Ayan. Si, si Lucy Shimmers at si Edgar Ruiz. Tama naman siguro ako sa pangalan. Si Lucy at si Edgar. Okay? So, kindly uh, fix that. Hindi siya Sally, kundi Lucy. And, uh, ito yung template ni na gagamitin ninyo sa ating written output. Template for the written output would be the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. Under body, we have to introduce or tell something about the character traits, the character roles, and the conflict and character transformation. Na-discuss naman natin ng malinaw a while ago on how to present the following. And, yan. The character analysis that you have written will be performed in a creative way. Create a mini vlog, two to three minutes, of how you will encourage people to watch the movie Lucy Shimmers and the Prince of Thieves by introducing Lucy Shimmers and Edgar Ruiz to them. So, dito kasi. Gusto ko may written output na meron pang performance. Tapos alam niyo naman that by just the click of a finger, if you are connected to a reliable internet source, di ba? Magkakaroon tayo kaagad ng character analysis by just searching sa mga engines or web engines na meron tayo. Kaya I want you to take an effort Uso na kasi ngayon yung mga applications na gumagawa ng mag-isa ng mga students' output. Kaya para maging creative tayo, 
na I know that you are the one who performed the task, gagawa kayo ng mini blog. Two to three minutes lang naman. How you will encourage the people to watch the movie. So, syempre, ipakilala niyo yung mga tauhan and you tell something about them that will really encourage the readers or the viewers to look for the movie. Of course, if you ask for the template, the pattern, bahala po kayo. It's a mini vlog. Uh, you are free to do whatever you want. Kunwari, may interview kayo or magkiklip kayo ng mga lines sa movie or pwede kayong magpretend na kayo yung karakter sa kwento. So, bahala kayo. The sky is your limit. So you are free para magkaroon tayo ng variation on how the character analysis uh, could be performed in different ways, di ba? So with that, I hope that the test, the test rather, kasi dalawa, written output and uh, character analysis uh, in a form of mini blog is really clear uh, on you now. And for the submission date, Submission would be 10 days after the posting of this video. And details will be uploaded on our learning management system platform. Uh, ilalagay ko na lang dun kung saan isusulat. Uh, halimbawa, Times New Roman ba yung written output? Siya ba ay in bond paper? Ano siya? Naka-PDF ba siya? So, I will give all the details there on our learning management system platform. So, if you don't have any other questions, I hope that everything is clear. And yes, I want to give credit to the reference of my lecture where I get the template uh, of how character analysis could be done. Kasi napakadami talaga na template, but the one... Uh, the simplest template I have looked for is from Miss Yen Kabag of PCK Publishing. So thank you, Miss Yen, for uh, the template that I have used. So with that, uh, goodbye class, and I hope that everything is clear. So you can go back with our discussion in characterization as well as um, ito na nga po, uh, how to do character analysis. So, magkaulam yung discussion kung yan for you to complete our activity for this session. So, with that, goodbye and enjoy the rest of your day.